All right, guys, it's time to meet our country critter of the week. Jane dropped off Opal. Opal. Right? So pretty. And you were just telling me uh, what kind of pattern her, we call this. Her color pattern? Her This is called a Torby, T-O-R-B-I-E. And a Torby, basically a Torby is an overachiever kitty. <laughs> she wanted to be a tortoise shell, and she thought about being a tiger. Couldn't make the commitment either way, so she did both. So, so we get a Torby. That Torby, you can and, see her coloring. And on top of that, she's what they call a dusky Torby because she has this muted, really rich golden hues. You don't see that very often. She's like the third one I can remember um, in all the years I've been at the shelter, so. Now about how old is she, do we think? She is a young girl, she's about two. Um, she obviously, she's not does not know a stranger. <laughs> Um, she's great with other cats. She's okay with dogs as long as they don't think of her as hors d'oeuvres. Um, she is already altered. She's FELUC, FIV, and heartworm negative. Um, she is good to go for her forever home. Well, she would be a great pet for someone in our viewing audience. And if somebody uh, would like to adopt her, how do they get in touch with you? Um, go ahead and come on out. We're open from... Uh, noon to 6 today, noon to 6 tomorrow. We're open from 10 a.m. to 1 on Saturdays, and then noon to 6 on Mondays and Wednesdays. We're closed on Tuesdays and Sundays. Now, more importantly, if they're like me, and they have way too many pets to be adopting another, my wife already texted me and said, you can't bring her home. <laughs> um, but they want to help out. How can somebody help you guys out? Um, we have a lot of different ways. We have a pay it forward. Um, we have a lady who, a, pro, a pay it forward program, and we have a lady who does that as often as she can. She can no longer have a pet. She has um, a daughter who has some health issues she's working through right now, and so they have to be very cautious. We have another a gentleman whose wife just had a liver transplant, and, and it doesn't have to be a you know, serious reason, but there's reasons they can't have pets anymore. Sure. So they, they want to support the adoption program, so they'll either pay for a specific pet's adoption fee, or they'll um, just make a general donation for somebody who might need a little bit of help. Or they, you, you know, people can uh, make donations to support special medical, or they can make a general donation. And a lot of people do that, just wherever it's needed most. Are there anything, uh, anything, supplies or that kind of thing that they can um, donate right now? Absolutely. We can always use bleach, um, hand sanitizer, hand soap. Um, of course, cat litter, we use the clay kind because okay. we disinfect in between each litter box. Um, we use mostly Ein's dry foods, cat and, cat and kitten, puppy and dog. Um, you know, there's always dog treats, cat, cat treats, toys. Toys for bedding, sure. Bedding, you know, you know there's, there's very little we can't find a use for. Well, if you would like to donate or help out, where can they go? Um, the shelter is at 4415 East, 200 South, and they can stop out. They can call. It's 812-372-6063, and um, let us know if they have questions, if we can or can't use something. You know, we're, we're grateful for people thinking of us. Well, stop by and see Opal while you're there, and hopefully she can find a forever home real soon. She's our country critter of the week. Jane, thanks for bringing her by. Thanks for having us. Bye, kiddo.